Well, a new generation of entrepreneurs is reclaiming South Africa's township economies. Townships are segregated areas of larger towns or cities that were created by the apartheid government to keep the black population as permanent low-wage labourers and consumers. Now, 27 years into democracy, townships remain predominantly poor and underdeveloped. But some entrepreneurs are trying to increase local business ownership and keep money circulating longer inside these communities. Nsepeng Motema reports from Johannesburg. A group of entrepreneurs gather on a Saturday morning. They have pooled their resources to open convenience shops here in Guatema, outside Johannesburg East. The majority of truck shops, as they are popularly known in South Africa's townships, are not owned by locals. But these community members are determined to reclaim the sector. Black people are, are, are getting used to, to the idea of them not just being consumers, them having businesses, uh, owning products, starting this, starting that. Owning part of a business gives residents here agency and is an opportunity to create generational wealth. So the reason we came together is, is to build our own thing, something that will be also that will benefit our children in the future. But mostly it's taming back what was lost and, and, and owning tax shops as blacks again. And the people of Guatemala are not alone. About an hour's drive in Tembisa Township, residents are looking to grab a slice of the country's fast food industry. This is one of only two pizzerias in this township not owned by big franchise brands. It's a similar case in black neighborhoods like this across the country. South Africa's fast food market was recently valued at around $2.7 billion and is expected to almost double in the next five years. Now, local young entrepreneurs here say they too want a piece of the pie. Munyane Palafala and two of her friends opened this restaurant in February. They want to source as many ingredients locally as they can and hope their community approach to business will help them stand out of the crowd. We also have a supplier that we're looking into who does veggies. Um, he's also from Tembisa. And then our delivery services, born and bred within Tembisa. So right now the boxes that we use are bought from a retailer but it's not so difficult making a box. A company here, can someone can start up a packaging business. But the reality is that the business climate is tough for those without big financial support. According to the University of the Western Cape, up to 70% of small businesses in South Africa fail within five years. In the fight to avoid becoming another statistic, some emerging entrepreneurs turn to business coaches like Sitelo Butelezi. I'm talking innovation today. From a shared workspace in central Johannesburg, he holds motivational sessions online, aware of the difficulties faced by those trying to start up in the townships. He offers practical solutions. Are we really teaching someone financial literacy and telling them to budget when we know they have zero? Then can't we teach them how to make money first? Can we make the thing practical, you know? So it becomes a thing of what are your circumstances? What township are you from? Who do I know in that township? Can I start to expand the relationship base that you have? Because once you know other people, you'll be in different environments. Of course, nothing is ever that simple. The pandemic has dealt South Africa's already weak economy a devastating blow. That means it'll be an uphill battle for these aspiring business owners to change the face of commerce in the townships but one, they are more than ready to fight. Nsepeng Mutima, TRT World, in Tembisa Township, outside Johannesburg.